Stanford police officer charged in connection to a crash that killed a beloved pastor appeared in court today. Yeah, investigators say Officer Zachary Lockwood was speeding in his police vehicle when he hit Reverend Tommy Jackson. They also say that the evidence shows that Lockwood also made an illegal U-turn, an illegal turn, and was not using his sirens while responding to a call. And now the Reverend's family wants the charges against Lockwood upgraded. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis live in Stanford with more on this story. Marcus. Well, David Liz, Officer Lockwood is charged with misconduct with a motor vehicle. That's a Class D felony. Basically, he's accused of responding at too high rate of speed for what was a minor accident, despite being told by dispatch to slow it down. It was an emphatic show of support. Nearly three dozen Stanford police officers attending this afternoon's arraignment. The one block walk and security check in took longer than the proceeding itself. Sure. Rookie cop Zachary Lockwood is charged in connection with the death of Reverend Tommy Jackson, a fixture among the city's faith leaders. The 69 year old was struck by Lockwood's police cruiser last July while walking back from the mailbox outside of his home on Wire Mill Road. And that's unacceptable because it was 100, 1,000 percent avoidable. Lockwood was responding to a call of a minor car accident. According to the state police, which conducted the investigation, he was advised by dispatch to travel code one, the lowest priority since there were no injuries. But there was a reported possible disturbance at the scene. According to court documents, Lockwood told another officer on the phone, I'm going to expletive code three over there, dude. Investigators determined Lockwood was traveling 65 miles an hour was using a siren intermittently and at last activated it 15 seconds before striking Jackson at 46 miles an hour. It was unacceptable, it was reckless, and it was deadly. And it exhibited a conscious disregard for human safety. Today, Jackson's widow, daughters, and community members also came to the courthouse. Though citing a potential conflict of interest, both the prosecution and defense agreed to transfer the case to Milford, Connecticut. In many other cases, if they can uh, waive a conflict, they should do that. And the case should stay here in Stanford because that's where the victims are. Well, the uh, family's attorney has uh, filed a motion asking that the charges be upgraded in this case to manslaughter in the second degree. Officer Lockwood is out on bail and he is on paid administrative leave. Uh, the, the family has also filed a lawsuit against the city of Stanford.